Okay, quick one, just how to use the uh, source effects with a meta sound. So go to uh, sounds and then effects and we have sound effect presets, which is essentially is the insert and then sound effect preset is, is the insert uh, effects. Um, that's not what I wanted, go away. I'll jump into uh, my blueprint here and in my blueprint, I have an audio component, and there I have also my meta sound uh, here. Uh, I can add the uh, chain here if I want to, uh, but because I don't have access to the send effects here, it seems to make more sense to have everything in the meta sound. Either will seems to work. So I've got the chain here, jump into the chain. In this case, I have a bit crush, and I'm going to add another effect also because there's a slight difference on how you set this up. So let's just add something else. And I'm going to add the facer. And let's open the facer here. And there we go. Now, if I just uh, go back and say this, if I just play this now, like that, and go to the facer. And we get facery stuff. So that's great. Uh, if I jump back to the controller, uh, and you can see here in this case, I have, this is my bit crusher. And with the bit crusher, I get access to all of the settings of the sample rate of bit depth. But with some of these uh, source effects, I don't. So the way that you set this up is we're going to add a variable facer. And what you want to have is the preset. So let's just go facer preset. There we go. That's the one that I want. And then in this, make sure that we have the facer selected. Um, it doesn't come up automatically, so you need to add this. Is, uh, so it's probably just because I've done this before now. Uh, we'll compile that. And if I drag this out, uh, I'll drag it out from this. I go to audio. Uh, the only thing that I have access to is set settings. Now, let's just show from the bit crusher variable. If I go here and go to audio. And in this case, sorry, I get access to the bit crusher and all its effect. So with these effects that I don't have instant access to the parameters, I need to do this slightly differently. So let's just open that go to settings and then make source settings here like that. And then we have access to all of this. So if I want to turn this off and on then, so let's set this to one. That would be very, very noticeable. And then uh, let's copy this across and set released key. Move this to the side. And let's set this to zero. Connect this up. Oops. Connect this up here. And now this should hopefully work. So if I now press F and get Big Crush, like that. And if I press G, I should get Face Up. Oh, cool. Got some Big Crushing also. Well, that works fine. Uh, so if you want to turn it off and on like this, you just basically get this make sound source settings and you can do it pretty much the same way you get obviously affected the uh, parameters from there. Um, why this is the case, I'm not entirely sure, but there, if we have a look at the different effects, so if I jump back to the bit crusher here, I can see uh, I can put a modulator here. So I don't have one now, but I could. And the same goes for, for instance, chorus. You can also put modulators here. But for something like the facer, I can't. So these two things seems to be uh, uh, um, related somehow, um, but uh, this doesn't say in the documentation, so I don't know, but we'll probably see at some point. Okay, cool.